welcome dear students in this video we will discuss equilibrium of a two force body so consider this body and this is the t section and suppose it is applied with two forces f1 at a and f2 at b okay now for static equilibrium the sum of moments about a must be zero because we know that for equilibrium the sum of moments about any point plus the forces resultant force should be zero so the sum of moments about a must be zero or we can do for b also the sum of moments about b should also be zero now the moments of f2 must be zero now because f1 is acting at a so its moment will be zero now for the moment of f2 about a to be equal to zero it follows that f2 must pass through a because suppose if f2 is not passing through a suppose like f2 is this then there will be a component which will bring some moment so for the moment of f2 to be equal to zero about a f2 must pass through a okay similarly the line of action of f1 must pass through b so similarly we can do for this for the sum of moments about b to be zero now considering these conditions we can see that the sum of forces in any direction must be zero leads to the conclusion that f1 and f2 must have equal magnitude but opposite sense okay so if we want that a two force body should be in equilibrium then the applied forces should be equal in magnitude but opposite in sense and their line of action should also be the same so this we can conclude now in this slide we have to draw the free body diagram for this problem draw the free body diagram of the dumpster d of the truck which was which has a weight of 5000 pound and a center of gravity at g <coughs> so this dumpster it has a weight of 5000 pound and this is the center of gravity and it is supported by a pin at a and a pin connected hydraulic diameter at bc so there are two connections this is the pin and this is pin connected hydraulic cylinder okay so this is the free body diagram so as we know the weight always acts vertically downward so the weight force is shown here okay and this angle will be 20 degree now this is the pin connection so we will be having the reaction force with unknown direction so we will have we will be having two reactions ax and ay and at uh, point b <coughs> we will be having uh, this type of reaction with non direction so we have drawn the reaction force fbc okay and this angle will be 20 degree plus 30 degree so this is the free body diagram of this problem so similarly we can draw free body diagram for any problem <coughs> now let us solve one problem and this is a brake of the airplane as an airplane's brake are applied the nose wheel exerts two forces on the end of the landing gear okay so when we are applying the brake this nose this will appear uh, exerting the forces one force is this and another force is this okay on the landing gear 
determine the vertical and horizontal components of the reaction at the pin C. So here we have to determine the reaction and the force in a strut AB and we have to determine the force acting on this strut. Okay. So this is the free body diagram of this problem. <coughs> so this is the reaction force. Uh, these, uh, this is the applied force, uh, 6 Newton and 2 Newton. So this is, these are given in the problem. Now here we will be having two reaction forces at C. So we will be having this type of uh, reaction force. So we can draw the two components Cy and Cx. And here we will be having one force in this direction. Okay. So we have drawn this FAB. Okay. And these are the distances required distances okay so they are taken from here now let us see the solution of this problem so we have to equate the moment about c or so for equilibrium moment of about c must be zero so this is our c point okay so we'll be having moment because of this force this force and this force three forces okay so 2 into 1, this distance is 1. Okay, and the moment because of the two forces anti clockwise. And uh, 6, this is the clockwise. Okay. So we have minus 6 into, and this distance we can calculate by trigonometry 1, 10, 20 degree. Plus now, this force will also have two components. Okay. So we have FAB sine 50 degree into 0.4 and minus FAB cos 50 degree and this is the distance 0 0.4 10 20 degree so this must be 0 so when we solve this we get FAB is equal to 0 0.864 kilo Newton now we should also have summation of fx is equal to 0 and summation of fy should be equal also to 0. So in x direction we have uh, this force, okay, cx, we have cx and we have this component and we have 2 newton. Three forces are there in the x direction so we can light 0.8636 37 sine 50 plus 2 they are in the same direction okay minus cx cx in the opposite direction so when we solve this we get cx is equal to 2.66 kilo newton similarly in the y direction also we will be having three forces 6 kilo newton then one component of this force fab cos 50 okay and cy so from this we can get cy is equal to 5 6.56 kilo newton so this is how we can solve the problems of equilibrium of a two force body so this is all for this video uh, thanks for watching have a nice day thanks